The objective of today's video is to solve some problems in trigonometry. However, before we start, we need to remember some basic facts about various uh, objects. Consider this triangle. It's an isosceles triangle. And being isosceles, then we know that this angle is equal to this angle, and that this side is equal to this side. In the isosceles triangle, if we drop a perpendicular from the vertex to the base, like so, then we know that this perpendicular bisects the base and bisects this angle as well. So, how is that related to trigonometry? Basically, you get the right angle here, and then you can find the trigonometric ratios in half of this isosceles triangle. Going one step up, to quadrilaterals, it might be a good idea to revise what quadrilaterals are. And to do that, it's best to focus on one at a time. Quadrilaterals are figures with four sides. They come in various shapes and forms. The, angle, the sides may not be parallel at all, and then you'll have either an irregular quadrilateral or it might be a kite where each two adjacent sides are equal. You may have only one pair of parallel sides, and in that case, you would call it a trapezium. However, the more interesting case is the case of the parallelogram, where each two opposite sides are equal and parallel. Now, in a parallelogram, the diagonals are not equal. However, they do bisect each other, and obviously the opposite angles are equal. Let's look at that. In this case, we have a parallelogram and let's see it in better. Okay. We have a parallelogram. Obviously, this angle B is equal to this angle D. They are two opposite angles. And each two adjacent angles, for example, B and A, add up to 180 degrees. It's obvious that the two diagonals are not equal. AC is, according to the measurements, 14.56 centimeters, and G is, uh, and BD is 4.5 centimeters. So it's obvious that they're not equal. However, if you look at the distance between a and this point here, E, it's equal to EC, and BE is equal to ED. We don't need to prove it, but we, we just need to see this. So the, the diagonals are not equal, but they bisect each other, and the opposite angles are equal. Now, if we add an extra bit of information about this, uh, this parallelogram, and we say that the, right, the angles are all right angles, we will end up with a rectangle. So the rectangle is a parallelogram, but the parallelogram is not necessarily a rectangle. In the rectangle, obviously, the opposite angles are equal because it is a parallelogram, but the diagonals become equal. And if we have a look here, for example,
this is a rectangle and we have the two diagonals right here just to prove that the two diagonals are equal let's take this triangle on one side keeping in mind that this is the diagonal and let's remove this as well if we flip one of the triangles and we try to place one on top of the other we find that, two, that the two triangles are congruent and the, di the diagonals are equal now look at this diagonal and this used to be the other diagonal before it was flipped so it's obvious that the diagonals of the rectangle are equal they also bisect each other because it is a parallelogram if we look at the rhombus the rhombus is another parallelogram with all sides being equal in this case the diagonals bisect each other because it's a parallelogram but the diagonals are perpendicular they are not equal but they are perpendicular so the rhombus is also a parallelogram uh, but the parallelogram is not necessarily a rhombus so let's have a look at this rhombus here if we draw the diagonals we will find that they are perpendicular and they bisect each other in the rectangle however the diagonals are not at right angles to each other and finally if we go back to our chart and we take another quadrilateral which is the square the square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four right angles so it has something from the rectangle which is the right angles and it has something from the rhombus which is the equal sides the square has equal diagonals they are perpendicular and the diagonals bisect each other now if we look at this the diagonals are equal because it really is a rectangle the diagonals are per perpendicular because it is a rhombus and the diagonals bisect each other because it is a parallelogram Another concept in solving problems in trigonometry is the concept of angles of elevation and depression. Now let's say that we have this tree and the cat is looking at this bird. The cat is usually looking in the horizontal direction, this way. However, when it sees the bird, it looks up. And the angle by which the cat lifts its eyes is called the angle of elevation let's call it theta as for the bird it usually is look, looking in the horizontal direction when it sees the cat it looks down so this is called the angle of depression as far as the bird is concerned and as you can see the angles of elevation and depression should be equal because they are corresponding so in this case where is the right angle triangle well if you continue the triangle this way 
you have a right angle triangle or this way you would also have a right angle triangle if you build your triangle you can apply the appropriate trigonometric ratios to find the unknown so let's try to solve this problem the two diagonals of a rhombus are 10 cm and 8 cm long find the measure of the angles of the rhombus let's sketch Now, there is a long diagonal, which is 10, and a short diagonal, which is 8 cm long. We know that for a rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular, and they bisect each other. So if we take this part alone, then this is the longer diagonal, so this is half of it, which is 5. And this is half of the shorter diagonal, which is 4. And we want to calculate the angles of the, the, the uh, rhombus. So let's draw this separately. Not to scale, obviously. And let's say we want to calculate this angle, theta. As far as theta is concerned, we have the opposite which is 5, the adjacent which is 4, so theta equals tan inverse of 5 over 4. And let's see what this is. Shift tan of 5 over 4 the plate with the put 1.25 this equals 51.3 degrees so obviously this angle is twice the 51.3 is 102.6 and we know that because it's a parallelogram then each two adjacent sides uh, are supplementary. So this angle is 180 minus 102.6, and that gives you uh, 77.4 degrees.